guys, what is up? Welcome to today's video. I am one busy Charmander, so I am sitting in my onesie on my bed and we are gonna have a story time. This is going to be a story time vlog because the vlog doesn't make sense without the story and the story is unbelievable without the vlog. Today we are talking about the night I went clubbing with Todrick Hall. So if you don't know who Todrick Hall is, Todrick Hall is an amazing YouTuber. He's a YouTuber. He's been on Broadway. He's had his own show. He like, he's done it. He's been it. He, it, mm. like, there's no words for Todrick Hall. There's no words. No words for Todrick Hall. Okay? Okay. If you haven't looked him up, pause this video, go look him up, and then in a different tab and come back to this, and then you'll appreciate it more. Our story starts last Friday, which was the 23rd of September, 2016. All right, so my school invited Todrick Hall to come to our school to do a little, like, performance. So he sung, he danced, he did some talking bits, and it was amazing. <laughs> As a director, I'm actually going to be a director. I'm, that's what I'm here for. Yeah, great voice, and they're going to be able to hear you on set, so that's the big one. Check well, great. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is your biggest advice for me going out into this crazy world after I graduate in December? I think just be as open-minded and as well-rounded as you possibly can be. Like, it never hurts to try to explore everything. Don't be like, this is my niche, this is what I can do, because you want to be able to be open to any opportunity that comes your way. And that's been, like, my motto. I don't know what I'm doing from day to day, from week to week, but I, I love learning new things. And anything that's a challenge that scares me, now I, like, love trying to do things that I've never done. Being on RuPaul's Drag Race was really scary when they asked me. I was like, I'm not a comedian. I'm not a host. I have no judging experience. I'm not a drag queen. I don't know if the padding is right or not. <laughs> and, um, and then, but I went out, I took the job and I did it and I learned so much and it was such an eye opening experience. And if I had operated on fear, I might not have taken that job. So I think that's what you should do and, and just surround yourself by people who want to work hard, wake up every single day, and Sister Act 2, the movie that changed my life first, um, <laughs> Ruth Goldberg says to Lauren Hill, whatever you wake up and think of the first thing when you wake up um, every day, that's the thing you're supposed to be doing. And if you're doing something that every single morning you want to wake up and be better at that, then that's what you should do and surround yourself with people who also want to do that and then there's no way I feel that you will be successful. After the whole performance, there was an opportunity to meet him. You had to text this number, and then um, you had a chance to win. I thought it was going to be one person. Turns out it was a group. Fun fact, I was not a part of that group. <laughs> and let me just tell you, Todrick Hall is my goals. Like, my life goals, my career goals, my fashion goals, my life goals. So I look up to this man, like obviously I'm a fan, but I look up to him like so much. Like he is one of my heroes, like on the planet. Two of my friends actually got in and cause I went in a group of five. And so two of them got in and then the third person, um, she actually talked her way in and I saw her talk her way into this meet and greet and I was like, whoa, hold up, what? I, I want that. I want to meet the Todrick 
can I meet the Todrick? Please? Thank you. Um, so I ended up, uh, asking the woman, I was like, is there any way you're going to let anybody else in? She was like, bish, no. And I was like, all right, that's fine. And so I started talking to my friend and he, like, was like, oh, it's so sad that like, we can't go meet him, blah, 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 which was all true. Like I was really upset. And then the other girl working there was like, hello, is it only you? And I was like, no, it's me and him. Like we're... We, we are hanging out right now. And she was like, I sent her in to ask for, to see if you guys can get in. And I was like, excuse me, what? You, I can still get in and meet the Todrick? What? Okay. So the other girl comes out and she goes, go in, go in. And so me and my friend get to go into the meet and greet and meet the rest of my friends in there. Oh, him and I are like freaking out because we're both like huge Todrick fans. So then I, we like get up and we get in line and we start um, getting ready to meet him. And one of his dancers, her name is Brittany, was like holding up the curtain and I got to talk to her and she's so pretty and so nice. Oh my God. And then um, all the dancers were like on the side and then I got to talk to Jenny and we talked about hair because her hair is this beautiful red mermaid and it's gorgeous and I just, what is your life Jenny? And then I got to talk to Chester and EJ and they're just amazing dancers and I'm just like so jealous of their talent and then the moment happened. Um, his personal assistant waves me in and goes, go see Todrick and I embrace the man that is my future one day, fingers crossed, God love me. And he ends up complimenting my hair and he has actually, um, I sent him a video for his tour that he was on and uh, when I sent him the video he actually emailed me back complimenting my hair. Um, he said like it looked really cool and I was like oh my god then and then he complimented me in person and the awkward human that I am was like oh my god you sent me in that in an email that's so funny and he like gave me a look like the fuck bitch like what are you what are you talking about you weird and um then his personal assistant goes oh my god oh my god it's her and I was like it's me, what, what, how do you know me? What is happening? What is going on? So, fun fact, I was in their video on tour. So I was single-handedly, not, not really. I was in their video on tour. I went tour, on tour with Todrick Hall, basically, basically. Um, and he was like, oh my God, you're right, that is her. And like they went on this like they were really excited and like I was like oh my god I didn't get to go to tour I'm so upset and like his personal assistant was like girl I'll send it to you and I was like oh my god thank you so much and he was like I thought it was you the whole time but like I didn't know and I was like ah and he was like you were the one part of the video that like everybody cheered at and I was like what do you mean and apparently whatever I said was real freaking good because everybody cheered for when I talked. So, um, and like one of the friends that I was with um, actually like met Todrick a few times so they were kind of friendly um, and so we all go and we're all like waiting for each other at the end of the stage and then all of a sudden Todrick like peeks behind the meet and greet section and goes, hey can you guys like chill there for a minute? And we were like, yes, yes sir. We, we can wait here. Anything you say, Todrick. So he finishes up the meet and greet, comes out, and he comes up to us and goes, hey, what are you guys doing after this? And we're all like, um, going home and sleeping? Doing homework? Maybe? I, we're in college. So he proceeded to be like, hey, we are gonna, like, me and the crew are gonna go get food want to come get food with us and we're like me you mean you and me food what? um so he was like yeah like you guys can like we'll go eat together it'll be great so then i was like all right 
the, it's, it, this is happening. Is this a joke? But this is happening. So he ends up being like, all right, we have to go get our stuff. So follow us up to our room. We're going to grab all our stuff and then we'll call an Uber and we'll go out to f get food. So we're like, all right, this can happen. So we're all like freaking out, but like trying to keep our cool. Cause you know, like we don't want to be weirdos. Um, so we go up to the room, they have all their luggage and stuff. Um, and then I like turn to my friend that I got him and I into the meet and greet and go, do you want to drive together? Um, so we aren't bringing like a hundred cars over and then you can just drop me back off at my car after we eat with them. And he was like, yeah, sure. That's fine. Todrick has an, like ears like a freaking bat and heard me and was like, wait, who all has cars? And like four of us were like, we have cars. And so we had enough cars to travel, like our friend group, his crew and him to go get food. So he was like, why don't we just drive over together? And I was like, are you joking? Um, <laughs> so he was like, all right, we'll just use your cars and we'll, we decided on going to Wendy's. Um, so we all, so we're all like, they get all of their stuff and he turns to me and goes, now, when we leave this room, people will stop us. They will scream. So when we leave this room, you leave with confidence and like you got a mission and there is no stopping. You just walk. And I was like, is there any other way to walk? Um, but it was so great because he sent like me and my friend out and then he was behind us and like we just freaking marched and we heard the screams. It was like we were walking down the red carpet with our stomp face on and it was great. It was a great moment in my life. We took him out a back exit that we knew about, took him to the car. Um, I ended up taking three of his um, dancers in my car and one of my friends. So it was Chester, Brittany, and EJ all get in my car. I have their luggage in my trunk. My car is a wreck and I'm like super embarrassed and they're like, honey, you're fine. And I'm like, but like your legs are up in the air because I have water bottles at your feet. Like, do you see the Taco Bell trash? Like, I am so sorry. But they were like, it's fine. So we drive all the way to Wendy's. My car is the last to arrive. And when we get there, we find out that Wendy's is closed inside and it's only dr the drive through. So then we're like, all right, McDonald's is across the street. Let's walk there. Their inside is also closed. So Todrick was like, well, why don't we just get Wendy's and like eat it in the parking lot? And we're like, that's a great idea. Fun fact, I had already eaten Wendy's that day. <laughs> so one of his dancers was like, it was uh, Jenny. She was like, I'm going to go to Wawa because Wawa was like two businesses over. And she's like, I'm going to get Wawa. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go with you because I had already had Wendy's and like I needed to collect myself. <laughs> so I went to Wendy's with her and then Chester came with us and the three of us got food met everybody back in the Wawa parking lot. We were in the Wawa or in the uh, Wendy's parking lot. It was one of those moments where you're just like, this is not happening. Like I am sitting in the Wendy's parking lot with Todrick Hall, his dancers and his personal assistant. What is my goddamn life? So this is what happens when Wendy's decides to be closed. You have a party in the parking lot. Yeah! We are having a party in the parking lot at Wendy's because they decided to close on us. You think that's going to stop us from eating here? I'm ready to take two. Not going to happen. It's not take two. There was one point this car came up with bumping music. Him and his dancers go out in the parking lot. They're freaking like twerking in the parking lot, like partying it up. I'm sitting there with my like apples like, uh, 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 uh. Um, and then I ended up, uh, at one of the cars was my friend um, and Todrick and his personal assistant. Um, and we were um, all just kind of sitting there and like we ended up talking about Snapchat and like Instagram and like we were talking about like the Snapchat filters and like that day I had just 
took took uh, taken a picture and like posted a picture this picture actually and we were talking about the old man filter and then Todrick proceeds to go on Snapchat and upload this. Why hello, it's Todrick, the older version of me. I got a little bit of the Benjamin Mutton disease. <laughs> I can't say the name. Now to me, I feel like this guy should have a high voice. Like a high voice, like a little squeaky thing, but it's so low. Don't get it. Literally went and used that filter because I talked to him about that filter. By the way, I was also on his Instagram and his Snapchat like that entire night. Like what the fuck? <laughs> so then after we're like wrapping up our food and everything, um, they were staying in Philly. Um, and like they literally came in for this event and like were leaving. Like they arrived in like Philly around 3 p.m. This event happened at 9.30 p.m. And then, um, they, like, at, like, 6 a.m. were, like, their flights. 6, 7, and 8, like, a.m. were their flights. It was crazy. Um, so, Todrick looks at me and goes, So, do you guys, like, want to go to the gay bar? And I was like... What? What? And basically, he was like, yeah, I mean, like, if you guys aren't tired or anything, we can all go clubbing together in Philly. Like, wouldn't that be fun? And I was like... What? So he was like, you know, like, I mean, we can take, like, Ubers or whatever, but, like, if you guys wanted to come with us, you're more than welcome. Like, you guys can, like, come hang out. And we were like... Okay... So, my one friend, the one that, like, I got into the meet and greet, he couldn't go, and, like, Todrick was, like, guilt trying to guilt him into it, and, like, he was, like, I couldn't, because, like, he had work at, like, 6 a.m. or something, and it was almost, like, it was, like, midnight already. At this point, it was, like, midnight. Um, so, and, like, two of Todrick's dancers were, like, I'm tired, we have 6 a.m. flights, like, I want to go to sleep. So... And that was Brittany and EJ. So Brittany and EJ got in the back of my car and I was like, I can drive you guys to the hotel and then I'll meet up with them at the club later. Like, that's fine. Um, and then his personal assistant gets in my uh, passenger side and it's literally me, his personal assistant, Brittany, my friend, and EJ just in my car driving to Philadelphia, which takes like a half an hour, 45 minutes to get to the hotel and like I'm just sitting there like oh my god first of all my anxiety was so high because I was like oh my god if anything happens these are like really important people <laughs> like I'm a like I'm a good driver but like I was so nervous because like what if something happened what if something happened and so I like get us to the hotel and I dropped off Brittany and EJ and like I like took out their suitcases and like hugged them goodbye and was like have safe flights and like they were so nice and I was like please get some rest and they were like we will. So we dropped them off and me, my friend, and his personal assistant get in the car and um we drive to the club. We actually beat them to the club which was like crazy um, but it was so fun, and then we get to, uh, we went to a, a gay club in, um, Philly, we all met up, and Todrick got us wristbands to go up to the second floor where the dance floor was, um, and we went up there, and it was, I have never gone clubbing in my life, I've never gone to a gay club, because I've never even been to a, like, just a club, and... It was insane. The lights were like, there was one point I walked into one room and I was like, I'm gonna have a seizure right here. Like, <laughs> the lights were like, blah, 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 blah. And like, the music is bumping and people are dancing and getting sweaty. And like, it was insane. And like, you know, I would like be just kind of like, I'm not a great dancer, but I'm just like, you know, moving along. And then you just look over and there's Todrick. And just like, you're like, what? Excuse me? Like, excuse me? 
excuse me and like you're I was like part I was part of his crew so like we're walking and like people are recognizing him and like they're like oh my god it's Patrick and I'm just like hi <laughs> like what so we spend time in this club it's great <laughs> And then the club like s closes and Todrick's like I'm not done and I'm like boy how are you still awake like how are you still living you're so like I, I just could tell like he was tired but like he just wanted to have fun and I was like that's amazing like I want to be you and then um so we found out across the street there's another club that has like an after party thing so, but this line was crazy and we were like, all right, how do we get in? Todrick got us into this club through like a, like it like was like a VIP entrance, I guess. And like we got into this club, it was like a $20 head fee um, to get into the club. They gave us $10 off, like, so we spent $10 to get into this club we go to the back, we're like chilling, sitting pretty, like having a great old time. Um, that one was a, like a lot less chill, or a lot more chill, a lot more chill, <laughs> there we go. A lot more chill than the first one, we were just kind of sitting in the back, like kind of dancing, kind of just hanging out. Um, I ended up getting a free water bottle, which like you have to pay for water bottles at clubs, and like... I went up and like he just gave it to me for free and I was like oh, okay man like thanks bro um so we were at the club we finally are like this is kind of lame and we decided to head out um it's super late at this point I don't even know what probably like 3 a.m. at this point I had I drove like everybody to like the two dancers already to the hotel so everybody else had to go back to the hotel so my other friends took his personal assistant Todrick, Je uh, Jenny and Chester back to their hotel um, just to kind of like because they didn't want me wasting my gas which I was like bros anything you need like I got you. I have nothing better to do. I have rehearsal at 10 a.m., but until 10 a.m., I'm free. Um, but they're like, no, 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 you've done enough. So my friend drove them back to the hotel, and me and my other friend uh, drove back to school. And the whole time we were in the car, we were just sitting there like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what just happened? What? is our life what are we doing what did we just do how are we living what is our life um so it was a whole like 45 minutes of us just sitting there like did that really just happen did we really just like go to a club with Todrick Hall did we really sit in the Wendy's parking lot with Todrick Hall are we like friends with Todrick Hall? Like what is going on? Um, and I like dropped her off and like came back and just kind of like sat in my room and was just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This experience was actually probably one of the best experiences in my entire life. Like if it wasn't for him inviting us out to a club, I probably never would go to a club um, because it's just not my scene, but I'm really glad I did. And I'm really, gl I'm very, like, I'm very shy and very timid, but because I, like, stood up and was like, I really want to meet him, and I, like, try, like, I, because I tried to talk myself in, and she was like, no, and I was very polite about it, and I was like, that's fine, like, that's fine. Um, but, and it, and it 
ended up working. Like I would normally be too shy to even ask. So the fact that I took that like step and like did it because I was like the least she can say is no and that's what she did say but it still worked out and then from there it just escalated and escalated and like like I said like I wouldn't have gone to a club except for the fact that he was like hey let's go to the club and I was like why not like why can't I go to a club I'm 20 I'm 22 years old Jesus I'm 22 years old why can't I go to a club on a Friday night like and it really like showed me that I can push myself and I can experience new things and it was pr it was literally the coolest thing ever because I was just breaking boundaries that I put on myself that I didn't need to have on myself because I don't let myself have fun and that night I just let myself have fun and go with the flow I'm very like regimented like very like this is happening here and it just I just went with the flow and it was amazing it was amazing it was so great to just be free anyway so that's pretty much the end of the story I came home and like went to bed and then went up got to rehearsal and like everybody's been freaking out since but um if you liked this video give it a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos, more story times. Let me know down in the comments if you've ever experienced something like this, what you would have done if this happened to you. I want to know. I want to know some of your crazy stories. Have you ever met someone famous and hung out with them? I don't know. I want to know. Let me know. Also follow me on my social medias down below. You can go see the pictures I took with Todrick and like them and comment them and just let me know. Like I just want to see you guys in other places other than on this channel. Like I want to see you everywhere. I want to talk. I want to have conversations. Any hooser, this is now getting really long. I hope you have a great day and an amazing week and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Subscribe!